Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is Mr. Mouse Goes to Work. I'm off, Mr. Mouse said to Mrs. Mouse. It was early in the morning and he was leaving for work. Mrs. Mouse came over and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Have a wonderful day, she said. I'll have dinner ready when you get back. Mr. Mouse worked in an office at the edge of Mom's backyard. It wasn't a long commute, but it took time for him to get there. The route to work was always the same. Mr. Mouse had to make sure he didn't go too far into the yard so the birds wouldn't see him. He had to stick to walking on the path Mom had set out until he was almost at work when he ran from the path to the office. The Mouse family had moved to Mom's backyard because of Mr. Mouse's job. He was in charge of building projects for his company. A big job, but one he enjoyed. Mr. Mouse's day at work was uneventful. He ordered supplies for an upcoming project. He met with construction teams to learn about ongoing projects. And finally, it was time to go home. Mr. Mouse had worked a full day and was tired. He was looking forward to the dinner Mrs. Mouse would have on the table when he got home. And he couldn't wait to get hugs from his children, Alice and Stanley. As he walked through the yard, Mr. Mouse daydreamed of life at home. He loved his family and their life in Mom's garden. He hoped his children were happy, and he hoped Mrs. Mouse was settling in well. Mr. Mouse wasn't paying attention to where he was going. Before long, he was in the middle of the yard. Oh no, Mr. Mouse said. He knew what being out in the open meant. Fortunately, the backyard was empty other than that loud mouth squirrel who was busy eating bird seed on the ground. Mr. Mouse took off running. He figured the faster he could get to the edge of the backyard, the better. As he ran, he took off pieces of his suit and put them in his bag. Running was hot work. He slipped in the mud a few times. Mom had turned on the sprinklers because it was very hot outside. By the time he arrived home, Mr. Mouse was muddy and exhausted. As he closed the door to his house, Mr. Mouse heard Mrs. Mouse say, Is that you, honey? Dinner's almost ready. Mrs. Mouse came around the corner and gasped when she saw Mr. Mouse. What happened? Were you chased on your way home? Mrs. Mouse was concerned. Mr. Mouse explained what happened as he cooled off. Mrs. Mouse brought him a cool towel so he could clean himself up and lower his temperature. As he settled down, Mr. Mouse said, Dear, I definitely need to go on a diet and get more exercise. I am not cut out for running. Mrs. Mouse hugged him and they both laughed. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find the illustrations in the link in the description box. Thank you.